I was really excited to present at ASCO this year the Cleopatra study. It was actually an end of study survival analysis and it wasn't a pre-written analysis, but we decided to do it. And we, the study ended in November of 2018. We had 808 patients on the study. We first reported the progression-free survival results in 2011, which showed a six-month improvement, which was a primary endpoint. And then we reported the overall survival results later on, which showed a really unprecedented improvement in survival of almost 16 months. The study randomized patients to get chemotherapy with pertuzumab or chemotherapy with placebo, and it was in metastatic first-line patients. The results that I showed at the ASCO meeting this year were 10-year were follow-up or an eight-year landmark analysis showing that 37% of patients who got pertuzumab were still alive, which is amazing because we have never seen results like that in patients with metastatic breast cancer. The, the other good thing about it is see patients who just got the trastuzumab and didn't get the combination of trastuzumab-pertuzumab also had a 23% eight-year survival. So we've really changed the natural history of metastatic breast cancer and HER2-positive disease.